You're listening to Tabletop Arcanum, a podcast dedicated to learning and exploring the hobby of tabletop gaming. Your hosts are Justin Taylor and Richard Geese, so sit back and relax as we talk, discuss, and joke our way through the hobby we love so much. Construct a wonder so grandiose it will make your mark on history. Seven Wonders Architects is a fast game with simple rules and a variety of strategies. Welcome to Tabletop Arcane. This is Justin, and today I bring you a review of Seven Wonders Architects. This is a standalone game set in the Seven Wonders universe. It plays two to seven players, it plays in about 25 minutes, and has an MSRP of $49.99. Now, Seven Wonders Architects is a quicker, lighter version of the original Seven Wonders does a couple things differently, and in such so that I didn't think we can streamline Seven Wonders much more than it already was, while still retaining the core feel of Seven Wonders, but Architect pleasantly surprised me in this capacity. So, first impressions, I was astounded that I can say this is a lighter, faster version of Seven Wonders without sacrificing any of the things that make Seven Wonders fun. Second impression was actually the fact that the game comes with its own storage solution and trays for all of the seven wonders that are in there, as well as the common cards. So it packs very nicely and puts everything together in a nice, clean, easy to take and travel or move package for yourself. So let's talk about some of the things that Seven Wonders Architects does well. It takes Seven Wonders, simplifies it down into only a few decision points per turn, opposed to many, which is one of the things that could slow down a Seven Wonders game. However, those types of choices are still available in the sense that there are still a military conflict. You can still draft your blue cards for culture and earn victory points that way. Likewise, you can collect green technology cards and upgrade and get some bonuses from there. And then you have your resources and your gray and yellow cards. In all, what you're trying to do is you're trying to do some set collection to make your wonder and the first player to build all five pieces of their particular wonder ends the game and then final scores are tallied to see who wins and on your turn you really get to draft between your deck the deck to your neighbor or a general central deck you get to know what two of those three two of those three cards are and the central deck is a mystery pull and i love how fast this game is for that opposed to worrying about what is your drafting strategy the game is really here is an a b or c choice make those choices as you have smaller decision points. The other very large improvement of the game is actually the military aspect of it. So there are military cards that have little horn icons on them, and those flip a set number of war and peace tokens, depending on the number of players you have. Once all of them have been flipped to war with the horns that have been played and collected, that's when you can trigger a war turn and figure out who gets points based on their military strength versus the other neighbors. What makes it more interesting is the fact that anything with a horn is then discarded after that. So this military strength is a fluctuating power in the game, so you can't necessarily ignore it, nor can you focus so heavily on it that you are going to dominate every single conflict in that sense. I believe it's a much more elegant way of handling that tension between your neighbors when you don't have money and resources to trade around. Simplifying the resources, simplifying your economy helped a lot in making this game smoother than the original Seven Wonders game. There are some opportunities with Seven Wonders Architects that I think could have been handled a little bit nicer. While it does have trays and things for everything to store, there's a lot of void space within each of those trays in such a way that there is a lot of box for ultimately not a ton of components except for these trays. The cards for each of the wonders are marked on the backs to know which one they are for, but when you discard them after collecting and playing them, you have to sort them or have them in a general pile and sort them after the fact. Having some marks on the faces of the cards could have eliminated that pain point a little bit. Original Seven Wonders is a drafting game and hate drafting was very much a feature in that game that could occur. And that hasn't really been eliminated out of Seven Wonders Architect. So if that was something that you were not happy with with the original, this game still has it as you and your neighbor share decks that you can draw from so you can see what is coming up next for them and possibly take it before they have the opportunity to collect it themselves. 
Likewise, the player before you has that same opportunity. Another opportunity I found in some Wonders Architects is all of the art, all of the Wonders are built with using the same formulas in the relatively same order. So whether you have a pair of matching cards, a pair of cards that do not match, three matching cards, three non-matching cards, or four non-matching cards, it's the same for all the Wonders. They do have unique powers and some have different point values as you build them. However, what you need to build is relatively the same across all of them. I would like to see a little bit more of a mix-up in that sense. It doesn't take me completely out of the game. It just leaves a little bit of, other than the visuals, the wonders not doing too much that really stands them apart from each other with an occasional uh, ability trigger. Overall, the $50 price tag for Seven Wonders Architects is a bit high for this game. You are getting a lot in the plastic trays and components and storage of the game, which is a plus, so you don't have to buy or look at any sort of third-party solution for that, so it does help in that sense. However, if the game was closer to a $40 price point, I think it would have been a little bit more manageable. That being said, we have gotten a lot of play out of Seven Wonders Architects and has been a big hit in the local groups for me because of how light and accessible the game is, and how much simpler it is than your Seven Wonders game. If you're looking for a Seven Wonders game that still holds that light strat the strategy of Seven Wonders while still maintaining uh, a lighter attitude than Seven Wonders Architects is definitely an answer for you. However, if you're looking for a deeper game that can get more complex and grow with you as far as your game skill goes, then I would really suggest the original Seven Wonders and some of the expansions for it as the game evolves as you add more of those expansions to the base seven wonders game hopefully that has given you some insight on how to construct your approach to seven wonders with our seven wonders architects review from tabletop arcanum make sure to follow us on our social medias that's facebook instagram twitter and youtube comment like subscribe get those notifications let yourself know when new content comes out as always thanks for listening and happy gaming <music>